Hi friends, I hope you're having a great day today. Um, my back has got so much stronger over the past few months. Um, and a lot has to do with, because I've had a foot injury, I've been modifying a lot of my yoga practice. And what I found is through modification and taking it back to the basics and really focusing on my form, I've gotten stronger. And so today I actually want to share with you um, a way to practice your transition between Chaturanga and Cobra that's going to help strengthen your spine and is going to help make for a more smooth transition um, in your posture. So if you're just starting your yoga practice or maybe you've been practicing for a while and maybe you've had some shoulder injuries like I have, um, I would say come back and try out this form. So go ahead and come to your mat and we're going to be doing this on our knees. So from an all fours position, we bring our hands a handprint forward. We shift our weight, we shift our weight into our hands and we tuck our toes to really find that strong modified plank. So if you were to lift your knees up off the floor, you'd be able to just go right in into that. And first things first, be mindful that when you're, when you're in this position, all your weight isn't forward right here in your shoulders and you're leaning into it. Pause for just a second, sit back on your heels. Come back with me and bring your hands on front and now rotate your hands out to the side and notice how when you do that, how you're, you get an engagement in your shoulder and your lat, how there's a connection there. Do you feel that? Do that one more time and feel that connection. So now that you feel that connection, just bring your hands back forward and maintain that. So make sure when you come into your kneeling plank or anytime you come into plank, you feel that connection between your shoulder and your lat to make sure that your shoulders are deep in the socket so you're not gonna do injury to your rotator cuff like I have many times before in the past. So again, put your hands out in front, rotate out, feel that connection in the lat, bring your hands back forward and then come into your plank. So walk your knees a little bit back, tuck your toes under, find that nice strong plank. Now at Keller Yoga and at a lot of places when we teach from plank to chaturanga to cobra, we go from plank and then elbows in all the way down, untuck the toes, and then lift the heart, right? Well, what happens when you want to do that flow, when you want to flow? Plank, chaturanga, cobra, okay? So, cool thing about this, guys, is from chaturanga, all you have to do is squeeze your back muscles together. So from plank, chaturanga, and then drop your hips and squeeze your back muscles together, and you're gonna be in the proper cobra pose. So let's do that. So feel that engagement in the lap, feel long in the spine, tuck your toes under, long, big inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows, stop at 90 degrees. Don't drop your heart any further than this. And now untuck your toes, squeeze your back muscles together, drop your hips, and you're in a perfect cobra pose. Did you see that? Let's do that two more times. So press back into child's pose, exhale back. Inhale forward into your kneeling plank. Core is engaged, feel that connection in the lap. Exhale, lower your heart, come down to 90 degrees. And now just squeeze your back muscles together, drop your hips, and tuck your toes. And you're in cobra pose. Good, one more time, exhale back. One more time, inhale forward. Strong engagement in the lap. Exhale down, heart down. And then squeeze the back muscles together, drop the hips. And you're in cobra pose. Press back into child's pose. And come all the way up. So I'm gonna triple dog dare you, whether you're new to the practice, whether you've been practicing for a long time, try that a few times and just see how it feels. See if it feels stronger in your back, maybe in your arms. And if you found this valuable in any way, shape or form, please give me a like, please give me a love, please give me a thumbs up, let me know if you felt this. And you never know, you might have some friends in your life who would like some of this information too. So do me a favor and go ahead and hit that share button right over there. Have a great day, y'all. Peace, love, and fairy dust. Pew.